This is going to be a drinking water quiz. 25 questions I randomly picked from the question bank I have. Uh, there's no math on these. As always, uh, I do not own any of the questions or material presented. Um, I found it on the internet. Uh, in the following slides, I've done my best to answer these questions correctly. Uh, I am learning. This is a study guide for me. If it helps you too, that's great. Question number one. Special steel specimens called coupons are inserted into the water main. After several months, the specimens are removed and weighed. It is found that the coupons lost weight. What does this indicate about water quality? That the water is stable, the water is corrosive, the water is scale forming, or that the water is super saturated. Uh, the answer is the water is corrosive. Uh, the coupon lost weight means it got corroded. If it's stable, the weight does not change. And if it's scale forming, it will gain weight. Question number two. What is the MCL for the disinfection byproduct TTHM? 0 0.080 milligrams per liter, 0 0.006 milligrams per liter, 0 0.1 milligrams per liter, or 10 milligrams per liter? The answer is 0 0.080 milligrams per liter. That is the MCL for TTHM. To reach breakpoint enough chlorine must be fed to overcome what? Free chlorine and chlorine demand, chlorine dosage and chlorine residual, chlorine dosage or chlorine demand and chloramines. The answer is chlorine demand and chloramines. To reach breakpoint enough chlorine must be fed to overcome the chlorine demand and chloramines. Question number four. The finished water leaving the ion exchange unit is considered what? Supersaturated, corrosive, stable, or scale forming? The answer is corrosive. Finished water leaving an ion exchange unit is considered corrosive. Turbulence in flocculation basins can be reduced by gradually reducing the speed of the mixers in each succeeding basin. This is called tapered energy mixing, short circuiting, flash mixing, or vertical mixing? The answer is A, tapered energy mixing. Question number six, what is the MCL for nitrate? 15 milligrams per liter, four milligrams per liter, two milligrams per liter, or 10 milligrams per liter? The MCL for nitrate is 10 milligrams per liter. What is the MCL for color? Question seven. 0.2, 10, 15, or four? The MCL for color is 15. Question eight. A fire has started in the electrical MCC room in one of the control panels. Which fire extinguisher should not be used to fight the fire? Halon, dry chemical, pressurized water, or CO2? The answer is C, pressurized water. You don't want to be spraying water on an electrical fire. Question nine. Aluminum, zinc, and magnesium are often used as anodes to prevent corrosion to other metals. Where do aluminum, zinc, and magnesium place in the galvanic series. In the middle of the galvanic series, as the least active metals, as the most active metals, or as noble metals. They are the most active. That's why they're used as anodes. Question 10. CT values are calculated using what two pieces of data? Chlorine residual concentration after contact time and the total contact time? Chlorine demand and total contact time, chlorine demand and temperature, or the concentration of chlorine and temperature. CT values are calculated by the chlorine residual concentration after the contact time and total contact time. Question 11. 
Which of the following processes is effective in removing TTHMs after they have formed? Coagulation, flocculation, and sedimentation, aeration, reverse osmosis, or forward osmosis? Answer to that question is B, aeration. Question 12. What is an advantage of using the split lime treatment method? Only 20% of the hard source water needs to be treated with excess lime. Split lime treatment eliminates the need for quick lime. Split lime treatment eliminates the need for soda ash. Or split lime treatment can reduce or eliminate the need for recarbonation. The advantage of using split lime treatment? Split lime treatment can reduce or eliminate the need for recarbonation. Question 13. Which condition would require the mixing speed of the flash mixer to be increased? Warm inlet water temperatures, high source water pH, low inlet water temperatures, or when the flock is observed to be breaking up? The answer is C, low inlet water temperatures. Like I said, the color of the water doesn't react as much, so you got to mix it more. 14. The main instrument used in the threshold odor number analysis is the human nose, a mass spectrometer, a turbidimeter, or a pH meter. It's the human nose. Question 15. What is the MCL for iron? 4.0 milligrams per liter, 0.2 milligrams per liter, 0.3 milligrams per liter, or 0 0.080 milligrams per liter. The MCL for iron is 0.3 milligrams per liter. I always remember this because the chemical symbol for iron is Fe, so free, which sounds like my kid when she said three, point three. Also, this is a secondary MCL. That was on my first exam, of whether it was a primary or secondary, iron is a secondary MCL. Question 16. Which statement is true about dry chemical feeders? Gravimetric feeders are less accurate than volumetric feeders. Volumetric feeders are more expensive than gravimetric feeders. Gravimetric feeders are usually more accurate than volumetric feeders. Or gravimetric feeders are less expensive than volumetric feeders. Uh, the best answer for this one is C. Gravimetric feeders are usually more accurate than volumetric feeders. Question 17. Repeat samples for a positive coliform sample are required to be collected within how many hours? 36 hours, 24 hours, 18 hours, or 48 hours. Repeat samples must be taken within 24 hours for a positive coliform sample. Question 18. What is the maximum removal rate for a 150 pound chlorine cylinder? 42 pounds a day? 400 pounds a day, 55 pounds a day, or 22 pounds per day. The maximum removal rate for a 150 pound chlorine cylinder is 42 pounds per day. Anything over that will cause the line to freeze. Question 19. The two most important factors that will impact the effectiveness of chlorination are temperature of the water and content of foreign substances, Concentration of chlorine and contact time, pH and concentration of foreign substances in water, or pH of the water and concentration of chlorine. The answer is concentration of chlorine and contact time. 20. The discharge of a piston type pump can be described as a precise volume for each stroke, discharge volume varies with system pressure, a variable volume with each stroke or proportional to system pressure drops. Uh, the discharge of a piston type pump can be described as a precise volume for each stroke. Question 21. Potassium permangate should be fed before chlorine, should be used with carbonic acid tablets, is a radionuclide which can give the water a green color, usually has a dosage range but between 1 and 10 milligrams per liter. It should be fed before chlorine. Question 22. 
Raw water requires both lime and soda ash when there are nominal amounts of what kind of hardness in the water? Iron, manganese, magnesium, or calcium? The answer is magnesium. So you're gonna need soda ash because you're gonna need to take the pH to a much higher level than if it's calcium hardness. So magnesium. Question 23. What is another name for permanent hardness? So this relates to our previous question. Carbonate hardness, magnesium hardness, non-carbonate hardness, or calcium hardness. So permanent hardness is considered non-carbonate hardness. Question 24. Power activated carbon is normally used to control contaminated aquifers, chemical spills, algae growth in the treatment plant, or taste and odors. It's going to be taste and odors. That is what powder activated carbon is used to control. Question 25. The capacity of water to neutralize a strong acid is called total dissolved solids, alkalinity, pH buffer of 7, or hardness. It's going to be alkalinity. Alkalinity is the capacity of water to neutralize strong acids. So that was just good 25 quick quiz questions. So I'm doing this to help myself learn. I can listen to this while I drive. Helps me. If it helps you too, that's great. Thanks.